Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about how to break multisyllable words between consonants but keep the consonant digraphs together. So let's do a little reviewing first. So here's our alphabet. All the highlighted letters are what we call vowels. So anything that's not highlighted is what we would call a consonant. So if we take two consonants together and we put them together like a C and an H, that would make one sound. So C and H together make ch sound. If we put an S and an H together, that also would make one sound like sh. Can you think of any other two letters we could put together? Maybe like a T and an H. That would also be considered a consonant digraph because when you put T and H together, it makes one sound. Another one would be PH. What sound do you hear when you put a P and an H together? That's right, you have the sound, the F sound. So in order to, to do today's lesson, you need to know one, what a consonant is, and two, what a consonant digraph is. That's when you put two letters together and they make one sound. All right, so let's try some of this, some of these where we're going to break multisyllable words between the consonants, but keep the consonant digraphs together. So here's our first word. We're gonna do this because this is gonna be really helpful when we come to words that have two, three, four, even more syllables in them and how to break them down and how to read those words and how to spell them as well. So let's tap this word out. Num, burr. How many syllables do we count? Num, burr, num, burr. Good, you can tap it. Some people like to clap it. If we look at the two consonants in the middle, we have an M and a B. So that's where we're going to split it. Right here. Num, burr. Because we know when we have the two consonants together, as long as they're not a digraph and they don't make one sound, that's where we would split it. And again, this is helpful because when we come to these to larger words with more than one syllable, and we don't know what the word is, if we know where to split it and to break it into smaller chunks, then it's going to help us read the word. Num, burr, number, great. Okay, let's try another one. We have this word here. Now, there's two consonants here, there's also two consonants here. We're gonna look at the two consonants that are in the middle of the word, not towards the end. So we have an N and an S. Let's split it right in the, the two that are in the middle because we know when we put an N and an S together, that doesn't make one sound, does it? So it's not a consonant digraph. So now we can read this chunk, this syllable, and this syllable, and then blend them together and see if it comes up with a word. Let's try that. In sect. In sect. Insect, insect, sound like a word you know? Insect, very good. And we know it has how many syllables? Two, insect, very good, insect. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Okay, look for those two consonants that are in the middle. Did you find them? Very good, very good. We have the L and the T. Now, when you have an L and a T together, does it make one sound? No, so it's not a digraph. So that means that we can split them right in between the two of them and have some social distancing there, right? So let's pronounce this syllable, coal, and then this part, chur, coal, chur, coal, chur. Let's tap it. Culture. 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 Very good. 
culture, culture. Right, so now we have a word, culture. Maybe you didn't know what that word was before. Now we do, culture. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Look for the two consonants in the middle. We have a D and a V. Split it right in between them. Okay. So this will be our first syllable, add, and then our second syllable, verb. Add, verb, adverb, adverb. Two syllables again. Very well done. All right, now we're going to look on the other side. This side, we're going to look and look for the two consonants in the middle. That's a vowel, that's a vowel, that's a vowel. There's a couple consonants. These are it. Now let's look at them. G and H. When I see a G and an H together, I know that they make what sound? Hmm. I know some other words that have a G and an H in them, and I know that they make the that's right, the F sound. So I can't split them up because they're best friends here and they are a consonant digraph. So I have to, and then I look over here and I see this ing, which is a suffix. So I know they stay together too. So I need to split it right here. And that's going to give me a syllable here and a syllable here. Let's tap it and say it. Laugh. Oops, move my paper. Ing. Laugh. Ing. Laugh. Ing. Laughing. Laughing. Okay, very good. Two syllables. Okay, let's look at this side. You see the two consonants in the middle S and H. Very good. We know that S and H make one sound, correct? Let me erase that. That's a little awkward there. Went over the side a little bit. There we go. So we have S and H, and we do know lots of words that have S and H in them, and I know SH makes shh. The sh sound, one sound, so that's definitely a consonant digraph. So I cannot split them up, I have to split them right after. So this is mush room, mush room, mushroom, mushroom. Very well done. Two syllables again. Okay, here's our last one we're going to practice together. We have two consonants here and two consonants here. Let's see, how do we figure this one out? Okay, well, do we see any that are consonant digraphs that can't be split apart? Okay, yes, we have a T and an H, one sound. So I know I would have to split after that because they're friends, they're best friends, they don't like to be split apart. Now, I have a D and an R here. If I split it here, that would make it with the raw. That doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right at all, Mrs. Blackburn. So, I'm going to try and split it here and see if I can say this syllable and then say this syllable and see if it makes sense and it is a word. With draw. With draw. Does that sound to me like a word that I know and I've heard of before? Yes, it does. I've heard that word. I've heard that word at school before. Hmm. Withdraw. 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 I know that word. Withdraw. If I split it here, I would have withdraw with the raw, and that's not a word. So this is a consonant and this is a consonant too, and they are right in the middle of the word. So it does give me different options on where I can split it, but I have to make sure that it's a word, that it makes a word when I split, split it. So I'm looking for consonants in the middle 
but I'm making sure I'm not splitting up that consonant digraph, and I'm also making sure that it's a word when I read it. So I have to make sure that I'm going back to check. So let's go over and check our words and clap them. We have, or tap them, we have num, burr, in, sect, culture, adverb, laugh, ing, mush, room, and with, draw. Those all look right and they all sound right. So I feel really good about where we split them. Now again, how is this going to help you? Well, knowing how to do this helps you break down really large words, as you'll see in science, you'll see in other words, and help you build your vocabulary. It also helps you when you come to larger words and understand what you're reading more in your books. Um, it'll also help you with spelling and all kinds of things. So uh, please practice this strategy when you're reading. Um, now you're going to go on and practice in a puzzle piece uh, on Schoology, and um, I can't wait to see what you can show me what you've learned.